try and draw. Hi, Wesley. I'm going to try and draw a volleyball player. And so I just put a big fast sketch in here. And before I go any further, I'll just quickly sketch in the ball. The nice thing about uh, a stylized drawing like what this is going to do is that you don't have to have everything just perfect because you'll be able to pull stuff down into the right shape in order to get the ball. But, okay, so there we have the basic ball. Now let's zoom in and make it round and all that other stuff. But, now we're going to try and uh, Try and make this look half decent. So I'm going to work fairly quickly just to pull some uh, some shape into this gentleman. And so in order to create this This guy, I'm just going to pull a different shape to create his body parts. And so, having coached a long time, we're going to try and make this guy biomechanically correct the way he's hitting himself. Um, I don't want to have volleyball players out there coming back and saying, Well, you drew a picture of a volleyball player, but that's not the way you hit, and that's not the shape your body should be in, so we're going to try and make it biomechanically correct. So so this rough uh, start that I've got here, I do, I use my mouse. And we're going to try and tilt them. And... Use just the pull effect in order to give the feeling of motion in there. Um, as I said on the, the one I did yesterday, that was a bird of prey. We talked a little bit about how um, things on an angle give you a feeling of motion. So if this is too straight up and down, you're not going to get that feeling from the drawing. So I'm going to take a, a little bit of effort here just to, to make this guy biomechanically correct. And to get his body in the right shape, but making him look nice and lean and sleek. And so you can see how that the shape of it's going to start to come together, and it'll be very stylized and very. Uh, very clean. I won't spend a lot of time filling stuff in. It's more just trying to, to get the basic shape of the body. Give me a nice set of caps. And it comes down into a I'll just play a little bit more with because this is obviously too hot. We wouldn't have a seal way up here. And the shoe, so you just want to make the design of the shoe a little bit more sleek.
So again, it's just, I'm just giving you the hints, hints of how the body would look. turned out a little bit better than it was because the section was a clunky thing that didn't look very nicely. And so on this part here we're just gonna shape the back and the bottom part of his leg a little bit more. And give him that the power. The power. We don't want the guy to look naked, but we're also not gonna worry too much about clothes and that stuff either, so um, we've got it all to work together in a second here. So here's his knee. Then you have to go a little bit of a calf. It's not that big. You don't want him to look like Arnold. You just want him to look like he's got some definition of his leg. So you pull this shape down in here. That gives it to you a little bit better. And then we have there you go, pull the heel. Yeah. It's across. And let's just pull it down here. That was a little bit too too clunky if I look at shoes. So. And so as you draw these type of things, like because it's it's a lot like sculpting, as I said on some of the other ones, you you can sort of pull the stuff in order to create the shoe and that kind of stuff. So then let's just zoom out a little bit and see how his body's looking up to this point. And so you sort of have the, the legs and the body. And so if you're doing a figure study, you can see like this cap obviously is a little bit too big and doesn't work very well the way it's drawn. But on this part here is, is uh, too bulged out. And so you're going to have to pull that in just a little bit to, to give him a little bit more realistic of a shape. So more like this and this stuff here can all go away. So more like that. Because it's too bulky. It just didn't look realistic. That's a little cleaner as far as the body shape goes. Give a nice thin little waist. And then second part, the volleyball players ruin all the time. Shoulders. And so in here we'll just pull this across because this will be his bicep area that he's on. And so that the original lines were just put on just to give you the basic shape. And then from there, then you sort of refine it and, and make it a little bit more realistic. We want this to be flowing. Not really realistic, but sort of the, the way the, the human body is built. And I'll zoom in in a second here. Nice and long, thin person. So when you're doing a body study, um, you should always spend some time and look. And one of the, obviously uh, with the amount of coaching that I do, you spend a lot of time watching uh, body shapes and the way their body is shaped as they're doing some of the skills that you're asking them to do. So you'll see some things that, that make you happy just because of the way the body shape is. And, uh, and the ideal volleyball body, if you can find it, which uh, there's not many people who have that, but there is obviously a, an ideal body shape if you can uh, find athletes who are shaped that way, you can create a very nice volleyball team. But you also have to realize that the volleyball player is more than just the body. 
It's got more to do with the intelligence of the players, the dedication, the willingness to play as a team, and that kind of stuff. So that's the kind of stuff you're looking for. But there is still an ideal body that you would love to be able to find. And if you had a whole set of players that were all the shaped like the ideal volleyball body. And the unfortunate thing about the sport is that it is dependent on size a lot of times. And so um, this one, basketball and some of the other, there are sports like that that are very restrictive. If you are not um, a certain shape, then you're just not going to be able to play at any high level. Um, and it's gotten worse over the years. Back when I was playing volleyball, there wasn't such a big issue when it came to body size. There still was, and obviously they're looking for the big players, the ones who are tall and have the ideal body shape, which was not mine. I was too short for the sport. But, um, I was also stubborn as a mule, so then I made sure that I did a lot of exercising and uh, increased my vertical jump so that I could play at a half decent level. And uh, afterwards regretted the fact that I spent as much time as I did training in volleyball when you could, uh, when I could have put as much effort into another sport and been uh, as successful or more successful if it wasn't a height restrictive sport like this one, like volleyball is. So now, because of the fact that this um, because I'm not going to put the face on this guy, I'm just going to go with the basic body shape, or body, uh, head shape. Um, it's just going to be like that. And not a heck of a lot more in there. Just to again create the shape of it. So you can see how the body's starting to come together. And you're starting to see how it, it's forming. So then this here is going to be your, a bicep. So you want it to be a little cleaner. There's a nice little bicep coming out of there. And let's just pull it around here. And then we want to pull this down into this area a little bit more. Now this elbow is way out. So there's a few things here that I have to fix for this elbow. It extended way out past where you would have it. So this part here you can just get rid of basically because that's not where the elbow would be. That one would be more in that position. Off of here. That's not where the arms would be. The arms would be more on that spot. It's starting to come together there. Separate these two so you can see where the arm is. And then this is going to be the hand. And so this hand, the thumb will be on this side of the body. And you have the basic shape of the hand here, the finger, normally when people are drawing the, the human body, they get to the hands, and the hands are always such a pain to draw, like they just, they just are, they take so much time, and you have to work so hard to get them to look like hands, and, and uh, a lot of times, just a stylized or putting them put them in your pocket or put them behind your back tends to work really well <laughs> but uh, obviously this one here because it's volleyball we have to be able to see the hand so let's zoom out and see what we got so far and so here's the shape and you're starting to see that the body and it's it's taking on that that kind of look and so we're just going to stylize the volleyball maybe a little bit here and again, all you do is put the basic shape on, and then you, uh, you finalize it simply by pulling pulling the shape so you have a stylized volleyball in the end. And so 
it's going to match the way the human the way the way that body is drawn on there and so it's made up of panels and so these are just the basic shape of the way the panels the panels on a volleyball work not the, the new spiral of volleyball not the Macassa 300s, but the Macassa 200s we're drawing, for those of you that are volleyball people. Uh, this will be the Macassa. The Macassa 200 instead of the Macassa 300. He says it sounds like a real volleyball geek. And this is so big all of a sudden. Go down to 30. Go down to 20. That's it. So you know, it just it made the, the smudging tool smaller. It's too big and it's too hard to control. So this will be a fairly quick drawing because I'm just trying to get the outline down. And then I'm going to play with it to see what's the best. It can be, this can be like a tattoo that people could get, or this could be a, uh, a shirt design. So if you wanted to have a, a, a team like our team this year, our boys team, I had drawn one earlier and a drawing while I was in Edmonton at the Nationals, and I, um, some people liked it, I just didn't think it turned out very nicely, and so I said I would look at another one, because one of the parents had said, well, let's get some shirts that look like that they're done with that on it, and I just didn't like the drawing it myself, so I said I'd try again, and so this is me, trying again, trying to make a shirt design or a design that, uh, like, we're not going to get tattoos or anything like that, but this would make a nice tattoo if you were going to get a tattoo done. Now this is one volleyball it's looking like it may need a little bit of air in it. It's looking pretty beat up, but Trust me, I'll get it to look like it's it belongs. Because once you have the panels, then what you have to do is you just have to try and make it round. Since I heard that's the shape of volleyballs. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it. The way your team's passing it may as well be square the way that team passes sometimes and the ball doesn't get anywhere close to where you thought it was supposed to go. But so you see how you just you keep pulling this until you get closer to your, your round shape and that's all I'm doing is just sort of pulling this out to get it closer to the round shape that you would want. And so, you see how it's starting to get a little bit rounder. And voici, we're starting to see a volleyball. Let me zoom out. Not much work very well with that. So very quickly, I've drawn like just the study of the human body and sort of have a, the shape I want. And um, now I'm going to go in and just finalize some of it because I have the uh, the smaller smudge tool here to work on the twisting action and just some of the, the body shapes to finalize it, to smooth it out.
So again, I just got a little quiet there because I was thinking about whether or not I should put clothes on him or whether I should just leave him stylized the way he is. So if any of you guys out there who are watching, if you have an opinion on whether or not I should put uh, clothing on him or whether I should just leave him uh, stylized like this, let me know. This either one's fairly easy to do and this is way too dark. Take off some of that blackness, so this looks like he's got a cap, like, on of it. question is, is he in the air or is, on, is he on the ground? So I think he's in the air, but somehow I have to make that, that effect come across. So there's no doubt that he's in, in the air. And so I'll just play with that a little bit more here. pull through his back. Smooth up some of his lines. Missing an elbow. You, sir, are missing an elbow. There you go. You now have an elbow. Mm. And that is really not very distinct, so let's just clean it up a little bit. You don't want to be too distinct because it's, you don't want to spend you don't want him to be super detailed but you also don't want him to look like he's put his hand through a meat cleaver or a sausage maker You, sir, have gone to the gym and you've just suddenly got yourself a bigger bicep. Congratulations. And nice and wide and open. As everybody knows, when you spike the volleyball, you spread your hand nice and wide. It gives you that nice solid boom <laughs> when you hit it. So just clean that up a little bit here. So there's a real fast uh, study, and just a quick little line across here, a line across there, which is just drawn really quickly, will then give you a reference point to think, okay, he's in the air. supposed to be a smudge, not a line drawn. Smudge, 20? No, smudge, 50. Smudge, 50. I 
again, just trying to make this a stylized kind of look. So it's not meant to be any of what happened. I lost my ability to, uh, to smudge. Let me go back. Every once in a while, the computer gets all stressed out for them, trying to make it do too much all at once. So it freaks on me. Those of you that know what a court looks like, let's call this the attack line. And that'll just give you a reference. Oh, kind of cool. Zoom in. We got ourselves a guy. I'm here to spike the volleyball. And now we're going to play with some effects. The first thing we want to do is we want to make this guy plastic so he stands out. That's kind of interesting. With the box like that. Uh, let me just, because uh, it's not a, the reason why I did that, and I'll just leave it for a second, and I'll explain it to you. The way, the reason why I did that is it's not attached. It's not attached to the, uh, to the background yet. And so what it did is it, it did is it took him, because I had originally drawn him straight up and down, and I didn't like it, so I tilted him a little bit to give him a better, um, a better shape. And so now what he did is it just put a box around it. And so now the question is, do I like the box? And I would say, no. So let's undo the plastic. And let's just uh, go to objects. And then what you do is you combine all the objects with the background. And this time when I do it, it'll, it'll highlight the whole thing. And so effect, texture, the plastic then will give you that on everything and so now you see how um, everything has gone gone textured but some of these things I need to get rid of so this I don't like and I don't like that spot because it looks like he's got the hair hanging off his body and the same with the mess I got here around his knee so I'll take that out of there and take that little hangy thing off him okay now Let's zoom back out again. And let's see what we can do just for our strokes. So, cubist means it's going to turn him into a cubist kind of drawing. Which is not never a, a good... Because it's almost like a line drawing to, just to begin with, the, the features itself, then you, you lose everything. And so we're not going to do that. But uh, let's look at some of the other art strokes. So um, Impressionist should get, make this all dotted. Whole pile of dots all over the place. Nope, nope, this is strokes, not dabs. So it'll be the whole pile of the strokes. So. And you can hear my computer just fighting for it. And so you see how it just now went all dotty. Oh, Dotty. <laughs> so we go and undo that because we don't like the uh, impressionistic. And so we're just going to keep playing with some of these and um, pointillism. Okay, let's go pen and ink first. Cross hatching. It's not. It's not anything you'd want to keep it like. The fact that I have that without those these art strokes uh, will probably tend to turn out better. But water marker. Again. So I'm going to change the shape of the book, the paper first, because I don't like it, and so I want it to be about that shape and so i'm going to crop it down to that and then i'm going to play with it from there okay so that's more of the, the shape that i wanted of his uh and the bottom of his foot's looking funny to me here that thing's too round the bottom of his foot's too round this needs to be more as a point kind of 
stop there and pull that down. That's a better shape for a foot. And we'll go back into the effects here and boss the whole thing. Now, this is a gold emboss, and it, it'll it'll be kind of a cool effect, but um, cancel it. I need to zoom in a little bit here, or zoom out so you can see it. Okay, it's just too high up. So let's uh, crop it down again, so it's a little bit more realistic of a paper. Image, crop to the mask. Now I'm going to emboss it and I'll zoom in a little bit better so you can see it. Three D effect emboss, but we're not going to keep it gold. And so let's go black. Kind of cool. Gray. Level. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at that just so you can see what it what it does now. And so you can see the way the shape of it now is, is kind of cool. Now, let's undo that. And let's go back to the emboss. But we're going to leave it as the original color. Which gives it a neat, a neat effect because all it does is it, it kind of pulls some of the lines out. And so you can increase the level of it and increase the depth of it and then what it does is it just gives you those the, a different um, idea of the shapes and so i'll show you what i mean now so you should see how the body starts to, to fill in like that which is kind of cool i like that but i'm going to take it back off again because we don't want to keep that at the moment i'm just trying different things uh emboss uh the boss I don't think that'll do anything. Actually, I've never tried it, so I'll try it uh, with this. Should go around his body. And I'm going to do what's called invert. So now that the body itself is, is uh, has been highlighted. And then go to the boss and see what it does. See if it does anything. Yeah. Invert. Okay. Stop. And then all that did is you could see some of the, the effects. Of, sorry, that's not what I want to do. You can see some of the effects of what that did. It just it sort of pulls some of the shadows out to be a little bit thicker on the body. And we don't care about that. So let's undo the mask and undo the boss. Again, we're just trying different things here to see what happens with it. And this is the way I just I learned how to do this kind of stuff is you just sort of play with it and uh, I'm gonna put a camera lens flare on there. Or actually, let's try some color transformation here. This is really cool. So watch. There's psychedelic, but it's too heavy. So because it's a line drawing, you're not going to get a lot of different um, different stuff to show up, but you can see how it just sort of makes the, the whole thing a different different color as it goes through. So again, it's a cool little effect, but uh, um, until I put some color in him, in here, in him and try to uh, give him a little bit more depth, you're not going to get much out of that kind of stuff. But let's go back here and solarize. Should make this the exact opposite. And so this is what ends up happening when you uh, when you solarize it. Now, from my point of view, this would make one heck of a cool t-shirt on, on, this would be really cool on a black t-shirt. And so I'm gonna save this because I kinda like this, this uh, effect and the feeling to it, because if you look really close, the way it, it uh, sort of makes all the lines stand out. 
so you can see what that would look like on a on a white on a black t-shirt that would be so cool and so then i'm also going to see what happens if i plastic flip the whole thing now smoothness crank it smoothness crank it up higher higher still okay and then the depth push it push it and then highlight it and say okay now take a look at the way this looks so you see how cool that would that would look so cool on it on a t-shirt zoom in just to see what see how the, it sort of looks like these uh this has all become a nice solid effect so I'm going to save that because someday I'm going to put that on a t-shirt because I just think it will look uh, volleyball tee. Volleyball tee. Okay. All right. No. Edit. Undo the plastic. So you see the difference. So redo the plastic. Undo the plastic. Undo the solarized. Zoom out so you can see it again. I'm going back to my drawing. Effects. So that was a solarized um, bit planes. I have. I don't like that, but uh, contours are not very nice. Crystallized glass block with play flat vertical. Don't want any of those. Customs. Nope. Distort. Nope. Noise. Nope. Sharpen. That won't do much to it canvas in the background elephant skin you ever seen this <laughs> so I'll show you what this looks like when I zoom in here a little bit and I'll give you a little bit of an idea so what it looks like is it's just been put on leather or it's, it's been burnt into the leather and so again it's just an, an effect so I'm going to edit and do that. Texture. Relief sculpture. This one's kind of cool. Watch what this one does. Now again, on a on a shirt, this would be really cool if you had a, a gray shirt or something like that. And I can zoom in and show you what the details on it would look like. And so you see how it just... The bodies are there and the, the basic body and the, the highlights. Now, you want to see what it does if I put plastic on top of that now? Plastic. So then all it does is it, it pulls it out again a little higher. And gives you um, a really cool effect. And so that, that would be really cool on a gray t-shirt. And so these are just a couple of different ones. So I'm just going to save that as t-shirt number two. T-shirt number two. So if I ever want to have a gray t-shirt, another volleyball one that I can use. And again, it's just some cool designs and the way you can, uh, you can manipulate things using the computer. And then let's make the whole thing out of stone. Concrete. Not as nice. Stucco. A little bit looser. Asphalt. Smoother still. Erosion. Default. And those are in just so you can see what, what exactly that's doing. And so you see how it just, it has the uh, the texture of the stucco. And it looks like this has been, just been sort of scratched into it, into the stone. And so again, it's a nice, 
It ends up as a, a kind of a cool little drawing, but. So, that's my uh, my body study on a volleyball player. The basic shape of the way you should be when you're jumping. Shoulders nice and level, arm nice and high, left arm high to take your upper body off your lower legs when you jump off the floor, and actually taller than a credit card vertical, so then you've got yourself a nice little jump. And so, that's my drawing for tonight. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll post it on Facebook. Um, the three different ones and then uh, let people decide which one they like the most so thanks for hanging around you guys and listening and I hope you enjoyed yourself and I hope you can hear me but my computer tends to flare up and get really loud so I'll talk to you later bye bye